Hey y'all, it's Brandon. And Stephanie. From Getting Gazelle. Just wanted to record tonight and give you guys an update on where we are, just overall life. Could just bring you up to speed. So we finally got our reimbursement back from the air conditioning company. If you haven't seen our air conditioning saga, I will put that um, vlog's link in the info box down below. But it's taken about a month and a half like six weeks to get reimbursed um so i feel much better now that our emergency fund is back and in full swing um the mm -hmm. minnesota house has not sold yet brandon would you like to tell them about realtor number two well realtor number two was well, first you have to tell them so realtor number one we felt like we just wasn't getting a, a big bang for our buck um it just wasn't, you know, she had been our realtor at that point for over 60 days, hadn't gotten any offers. Um, so we weren't getting feedback in a timely manner. Um, the open houses were done like very last minute and she liked to spend a lot of her time out on the lake. So I called my relocation company and they were going to get me another realtor in that same office um, I thought, you know, maybe that's going to be kind of awkward, but at the same time, maybe that's a good thing because there's a lot of inner office competition. So I'm told in real estate. So I was like, maybe that'll, you know, really, really spark a fire under this new agent. Unfortunately, um, we had a phone call with that agent and, um, he the had, first phone call went great. He told yeah. us how wonderful our house was, how great our yard looked. He said that he could tell we had hired a yard service. And then I got a, well, I, I sent him a message because he said he was going to have an open house that weekend just to find out how the open the next house day. went. He um, said he was going to have an open oh, house yeah, the next day. that was a Friday. And, and so here's the thing. We're driving down the road and the realtor calls and he's asking us questions about our house. Like, how many bedrooms do you have? How many bathrooms do you have? And what have you upgraded? And this and that. And I'm listening, to, I'm overhearing this conversation and I'm like, if you're a realtor and you've been in our house, shouldn't you already know all this information? And even if you haven't been in our house, didn't you look up our address before you made your phone call? And my, so I was a little aggravated. My thought was, you know, I, I'm usually the, you know, optimistic type to where, you know, I'm like, <laughs> you know, I'm giving this guy the benefit of the doubt. He just got our paperwork in front of him. You know, maybe he rode by, just peeked in the door, you know, and was going to call me just to discuss the details, right? So I'm like, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt, whatever. And then he tells us about the yard and that he can tell we have a yard service. And we did have a yard service. And so we thought, oh, for sure, he has the right house. Maybe he just didn't look us up in the computer. It's Friday afternoon. It's late evening. Maybe it's been a long week, you know, so on and so forth. Um, so then when I ask him how the open house went, he responds that there was no way he could have an open house with a yard that looked the way ours did. It was unshowable. It was unshowable because there was two foot of grass. Um, and that was our fault. And, you know, and he, we're a pill to work with. Yeah, we're a pill to work with. And that there's no way that, you know, he he could get anything done over the weekend because of the condition of the house and that we're, you know our expectations were way too high whoa so at this point we're like <laughs> what in the world happened all we had was one phone call with the guy and one text message and all the text message said was hey how did the open house go today did you get any traffic like that was literally it because i handed that the phone over it. to steph because i was like can you read this and just make sure that i didn't come across <laughs> like a jerk because i i truly didn't intend and i even said that in the message i was like i said i i really i'm not sure yeah, why you're in your response being back. defensive because all, all i'm doing is just asking for the feedback that's all i was doing I, I apologize if i came across the wrong way right and so we were like uh okay, this is weird. And so Brandon sent an email to his relocation department again, this time on a Sunday night. And then he called them immediately on Monday morning when they woke up or when the office opened. And he said, I'm going to read this email to you. And, and so Brandon was at work. So he put me on three way with our relocation agent and we just discussed what had happened. And we were like, we have no idea what this, what this real estate agent is doing. 
but this is crazy. And then he, he made another comment about how we needed to pay our, our previous yard work people. And we were like, wait a minute, you said our, our yard looked terrible. And so um, Brandon and I had asked Brandon's old partner from work to swing by our house and take a picture of the yard and send it to us. And there were some weeds that needed to be taken care of. Apparently the, the yard crew was not doing their best work. They were being a little lazy and cutting corners, but our real estate agent is the one who found them. And she had promised us that she would keep an eye on the house and make sure that things were going well and that we were getting what we were paying for. And so, and we had sent a check and, and the check had never cleared. And so we were just like, this is really weird. We told our the relocation department and they were like, let's get you a new agent. So I actually, after that, had sent another check um, and yeah. it had never cleared. And so at that point, my relocation company told me they were like, at this point, we're going to cut ties. Do not send them any more checks because we don't want all the checks to be cashed. And then now we're, you know, trying to recoup money from you know, the agency and all that stuff. Which we do have to say that our real estate agent, whenever we bought the house, she lost our escrow check. And so we were kind of like, how do you lose an escrow check? <laughs> an escrow check. How do you lose an escrow check? And so we had to write her a second check and, um, you know, call our bank and put a cancellation on the other check because we didn't want both of them to go through. And so <clears throat> we were proactive, but we ate that $25 fee, $35, $35 fee for canceling that one, um, that one check. And so at this point we were getting really frustrated because now there's how many yard checks well, out there it, now? It was two checks. Two, now there's two point. yard checks out there. Um, neither one have been cashed. We haven't bitten the bullet and paid the $35 to cancel one because the account that we wrote it out of it can cover it but i mean it was a mess so we started over we with a, a new third one. agent from another real estate company and this lady is on her game she can't, she went by and she said the yard does not look horrible it's not unshowable there are some weeds which i mean that kind of happens in minnesota um so she said there's some weeds but she got a crew out there the very next day. The next day. And we so, called and paid them over the phone. Yep. And so we've had no payment issues with them. And then... And they uh, were able to clear up any of the weeds. The, the main place that they said there were weeds were actually in the shrubbery. Um, right. So in, the, in the rock bed. They were able to get all of that cleaned up. Um, she had also said that she could, you know, not throw in the other agent under the bus, is, was her words. But she could tell that the other agent had not been by there to check on the place. Because based on the amount of traffic that had been through the house, the foyer where there was needed hard swept. wood needed swept it was completely dirty so she said that she would you know she would actually clean it herself and she put a, a rug down um for us she was able to get a new photographer out there to take all new updated pictures right um and she did an open house this weekend we haven't gotten the feedback yet because it was saturday and sunday but we also had a showing midweek yeah. this past week and her company every Tuesday, all the agents go through all the open, all the new listings. Um, so she said it got some good traffic from other real estate agents. It got, and then it had a private showing, and then a open house this weekend. So, so we're, we're trying to be patient. We're hopeful. We're trying to be patient. We are okay. Uh, the budget is tight, but we have, um, an, we we've just accounted for having two two house payments in the meantime. Whew. So it's, it's a little tight.